enforcement officers from various state agencies teamed up today to carry out a massive gang roundup. June 2008. After months of wiretaps and stakeouts, the Oakland police launch Operation Nutcracker, aimed at smashing the gang problem in the city. More than 40 guns are taken off the streets, stashes of drugs are confiscated, and most importantly, 54 of the most wanted gang members. Leaders like MAC. Acorn is dominant force around here, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Acorn niggas, no, I don't give a fuck. Just because you from Acorn. MAC purportedly ran the infamous Acorn mob. Like many of Oakland's gangs, Acorn thrived by running drugs, prostitutes, and guns. And enforced their dominance through intimidation and even death. They were probably the most violent street gang that we have come across in quite some time. From his lack of fear to use violence, uh, they idolized him. MAC is an alleged kingpin of Oakland's gangs. He was an enforcer, accused of unleashing violence when necessary. This was his life on the streets. And this is his life now. In jail, facing charges for conspiracy to commit murder. He wears the scars of a life lived on the street. The violent life of a gangster. For MAC, these scars are a badge of honor. Uh, I've been shot 20 times. Had a couple wounds up in here, pelvis, this, 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 this. I don't know my butt eyes. I don't know how that one didn't paralyze me. This year, I got shot five times with a 40. Then I got shot two more times. But going behind bars at Santa Rita Jail is a homecoming of sorts for MAC. Just like on the streets, in here, it's a world of gangs. Of the 4,000 inmates at Santa Rita, more than half are classified gang members. Fuerza San Josureño. Central Freemanlo. Bistri Su 13. This is what justice was supposed to look like. A jail filled with Oakland's top gangsters. But with those like MAC, who held their power through violence and intimidation, now behind bars, a new generation of gang member is taking over. These gangsters idolize their leaders, like MAC. But they're taking the violence in a whole new direction. This is how we get out, up. You got individuals with guns, you got individuals that don't care about life. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. Four shootings over seven hours. These numbers alone are astounding. You don't have to have permission to kill somebody now, you know what I mean? Now it's in shambles. It's almost like a, a third world country. Police are investigating Oakland's third murder of the weekend. Since Operation Nutcracker was completed, there have been 80 murders in Oakland, most carried out by a younger crowd in a more violent type of gang justice, where one killing is answered by another. And the funerals continue. If you continue in your sins, all you've got to look for is death. Lying in an open casket is Oakland murder number 112, known to his family as Ronnie Greer son of Lanika Shelton. Ronnie was just 16 years old when he was shot and dumped alongside a highway. And though not officially in a gang, his circle of friends included the Squad Boys, considered by the police to be one of hundreds of smaller gangs in Oakland. Come out of that environment and you won't get caught up. Whether Ronnie was a target or an accidental killing is unclear. In Oakland, it can be hard to tell the difference. There's always things going on in Oakland. It's scary. I mean, it's like you wake up today and you just never know if you're gonna be here tomorrow. With Ronnie dead, everyone expects retaliation. In Oakland, no killing is left unanswered. I don't agree with it, but I understand why you young men carry a gun. And I know some of y'all up in here got one right now. But the cold thing about it is, all y'all in here, and somebody here know who did it. I wouldn't even be surprised if the person who did it is among us. It makes you want to go out there and take their life too. I mean, you don't have no reason to be here. You don't deserve to live. You and kill my family member or my loved one. And God just don't know how I feel in the inside. 
I just can't believe that they killed my baby. He deserved to be here with his family. I deserve to have a chance to see my son grow up. He didn't deserve to die. Repeat right now. A new target is forming. May we all stand? In the shape of Ronnie Greer's killer. In Oakland, justice can come from the hands of revenge or from the police. It's just a matter of who gets there first. Up next, deep inside Oakland's game of drugs, money, and violence. And then, a trip to the killing zone. I don't care what the cameras say, I'm gonna... <laughs>